audio check, video check, confidence check. That's not happening. It's not. It's not a good night. I don't know. I don't know why. I've sat out tonight with the intention of filming like a tutorial, like a beginner's sort of night photography, camera settings, all that kind of thing. It's, it's one of those nights, it's not working. I thought what I would also do, I don't know, just to try and be cocky a bit, is I was going to get a really old compact camera that I've got at home and show you that it's just as easy to take pictures on something like that. Maybe it's not particularly good ones, but you can still use it. Well, that was the first thing to go wrong. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it's impossible, it might need a bit more experimentation. Um, that didn't work. I've not got any confidence to do anything today. Like, I'm not just, not just filming when there's people around, which is really difficult, and I'm, I'm really having to force myself to do this right now, and there's no one actually particularly close. There's no one right by me, no one's looking at me, no one's wondering what I'm doing. And I'm still really having to force myself to to talk to the camera. I've took a couple of shots, they're not very good. And then anytime anyone remotely comes kind of in my general direction, I just like stop talking. Flip the camera around quickly. Oh, what is it? It's not just it's not just trying to talk to the camera in public. It, I, just, I don't know what it is. I've got no confidence just to take a photo of anything. I can't find anything to shoot. I've took a couple of crappy pictures of things. I had all these ideas for this tutorial video I was going to make. Ah. Just annoyed at myself. Like, really annoyed at myself. I'm at uh, Howden Reservoir in the Pig District. Actually, one of one of my favourite shots I've ever taken. I took one night, one freezing cold night uh, in the middle of winter, overlooking um, this reservoir. I've been wanting to get back here for a long time. I'm a big proponent of shooting in all weather conditions, but I don't think I'll be able to get anything with the weather as it is today. We'll see. Nothing seems to be going right here. I just go back to the car and realised that I've lost the eyepiece uh, for my camera. It's not. It's not going well. Nah, this sucks. Not feeling particularly inspired. I'm really not feeling confident at all. Like shooting stills or video. Just having a bit. I don't know. I must just be having a bit of a wobble. I don't have any any confidence in my ability to do anything at the moment. I don't mind the weather, it's it's a little bit of a hindrance, but I could take it if it was just the weather on its own, but then I'm losing bits of gear and I'm gonna try again another day. Thanks for the eighties. So I hope you well. I've not fully recovered because I accidentally skipped lunch today and then I ate a cheese baguette the size of a rounder's bat. Somebody I didn't make So I'm just up by um, Lady Bower Reservoir, I'm just in the Peak District, trying to find some compositions. I don't think I'm going to get any, no any northern lights whatsoever though, so cloudy tonight. This might not be the most sensible thing I'll do tonight, but I'm going to try and scramble further down this bank. It's really steep and it's very, very dark. Wish me luck. I really wouldn't have minded. <laughs> not being able to see the northern lights and all that kind of stuff if, 
if the moon wasn't also behind uh, all this thick cloud. So I really can't see a great deal of anything. That's not too bad, it's usable I think, possibly usable. I think I've just about nailed down <laughs> this this final composition I'm going to do. So we're at ISO 1000, 30 second exposure because I've left my remote in the car, otherwise I would have gone longer. Um, what are we, F? F4, I think. Um, it is a nightmare on these rocks. The actual, the provides some really nice foreground interest, but yeah, it's not that easy to pick your way across this in the dark. The problem with these types of shots where you can't actually see any stars or any of the night sky is they just start to look like shots that have been taken during the day. But then it starts to come down to personal preference. I mean, the good thing about long exposure at night, you, you don't need filters or anything like that. You can get clouds streaking across the sky in a, in a you know, a normal sort of 30, 30 second exposure without it being um, completely overexposed. You see, there's just, there's just a fine balance there, really. I'm fairly satisfied I've at least got a couple of passable images, so I think I might have got out of my uh, photography funk that I was stuck in, for whatever reason. Why is this road so busy? It's like midnight. It's so busy. Oh, 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 oh,